guys, so um, Jan and I just did our hair and we did our makeup and we wanted to film a super quick video sort of separately where we kind of talk about the products that we've used um, because, you know, they it just takes up a lot of time if you're filming it in the other videos. So, um, first things first, hairspray. Um, which one's our favorite? This is the one that we use. We use Got To Be Glued a lot. Uh, it's, uh, it's called the Blasting Freeze Spray and that's really what it does. Uh, it really helps hold the hair in place. But we also like um, Got To Be Smooth Operator. Uh, I think it's really easy to just uh, use to put your hair back in the ponytail, catch the flyaways, it's moldable, you can brush it out. I like it better when I'm just starting to work with a hairstyle and this I use more towards the end. Exactly, and you can always use this um, for when you're just sort of, you know, doing some trial and error before the competition or the night before, um, so that way you don't have to worry about taking all the hairspray out as much, and then on the day of the competition, definitely use this one, because this lasts forever. And another thing is, uh, after you have uh, your hair already done, you need to keep spraying your hair throughout your day of competition, because it keeps, uh, keeps it uh, nice and together. Uh, it uh, helps the flyaways uh, be under control. So always keep spraying. Yeah, absolutely. And also, you know, if somebody bumps you into the like during the competition or while you're dancing, it's great to have some hairspray nearby so you can just kind of, you know, put things back in place. I can actually tell you a little story. I was doing this one competition where I had a collision with another girl, and uh, her fingers, um, you know, she had her fingers on the arm of the gentleman and uh, her fingers literally went inside my bun. <laughs> yes, and uh, it held up. So um, definitely be prepared. Sometimes you have collisions in the dance floor and your hair needs to be very secure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, to make the hair really secure, you also need to make certain that uh, your ponytail is also very secure. So to tie a ponytail, uh, today we use the Diane brand rubber bands. And they're honestly just clear elastic mm -hmm. rubber bands. You can find them anywhere. I know CVS has them. Where did you get these? Did you get these at just like a beauty supply store? Yes, or? I got them in uh, Danbury Mall in uh, Beauty Plus uh, Salon. Um, I know that you can also get them in uh, Sally Beauty Supply. Uh, you can also get them online. I think they're also called uh, braiding rubber bands. So I use Diane's brand, there's others that you can find. Mm -hmm. um, and then brushes, right? Brushes are super important. Well, uh, yeah. So uh, for teasing the hair, for back combing, uh, I used uh, this comb. Uh, I'm not certain if the camera can focus on it, maybe I'll do this. Mm -hmm. And if you guys can tell, um, you know, you have the normal different size little teeth going down, but also on the little teeth on the inside, they're also going across. So it actually helps capture a lot of the hair and really back home it and tease it. It's a great brush. You, you can comb it actually with, uh, you can back comb it with any uh, comb whatsoever, uh, or even a brush. But. Um, I like this one because it's just very easy to work with. Mm -hmm. And then this one is a, a comb with very fine teeth and it has a little tail that helps you separate the strands uh, as you are trying to make an even part. So this one is also very useful. So these are the two that I would use mostly. Uh, I would also use a brush to just brush out the hair in the beginning. But I think that this is all you might need to do a good hairstyle. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and of course, we can't forget hairpins. Um, we just have a bunch of different colors here. Um, for Yana's hair, we used the silver ones because her hair is blonde. And she's going even blonder than I've ever seen her before. Um, and then for my hair, we used some of the dark um, or light dark brown ones. And as you guys can tell, um, let me just pull one out. Um, I've shown this before in a video, but I'll just do another close-up. They are actually already separated. I don't think that they come uh, closed up, they just come this way. So no. Yeah, exactly. So they're already separated, which is great because you don't have to, like, you know, put it in your mouth and try separating them, because I know people do that, and it just doesn't work as well. So definitely get these. They work really, really well. Um, and we also have a couple hair nets, um, you know, very mm -hmm. simple. They just come in a pack of three. This is also from... Um, Diane's brand, same mm -hmm. as the um, rubber bands that we showed you guys okay. earlier. Let's just um, make certain the camera focuses on it. Mm -hmm. They come in uh, several different colors, 
So we use the dark brown and blonde today. They come free to a pack. And also um, there's other, I think this one, mm -hmm. um, there's other hair nets that you can get, like Conair makes some. Mm -hmm. These ones you can get at CVS or Rite Aid. Anywhere uh, really. And uh, these ones we got at the hair salon as well. Okay, um, so I think that's pretty much it. I uh, think that's yeah. I you wanted it. to say uh, to say about the Victoria's Secret. Thing. Oh, I did. I had a couple other products that are not necessarily related to, related to the hairstyle. One of them is um, I personally love Victoria's Secret for ballroom products. It's a gold mine because they actually have really good quality products. A lot of people don't seem to believe it, but it's very very true. Um, the first one is um, the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Shimmering Hair and Body Spray, and this is just a glitter spray that you can spray all over. Um, it's a little bit sticky, so it's almost like a hairspray, and it has glitters in it, so this is what it looks like. And it smells just like one of their fragrances, which is the Bombshell. Okay, and the last thing that I really, really like is um, their Instant Glow Bronzing Mousse. Um, simply because it doesn't make you feel very streaky, even if you use a lot of product, like it blends in very nicely to your skin. Like, when I say Victoria's Secret can make the girls, you know, their angels look good, they do it very, very well. And you guys have seen the runway shows and stuff, and you know, this is what they use, and it looks amazing. So I really prefer this product, and um, that's it. That's my quick uh, two cents right there. And so. actually, now that I thought about it, we also used uh, some rhinestones in our hair today, mm -hmm. and uh, we used Spark. Elma's School Glue uh, to attach them. And it says here that it is washable. Uh, so normally when I glue my, uh, the stones in my hair, uh, to get them out I would just get under the shower and uh, the water would dissolve the stones so you don't have to tear your hair out in order to take the stones out. Exactly. And just start with the conditioner. I know you've told me, start with the conditioner, let yeah. it sit for a couple minutes and then just wash it off. Yes, and I actually would take um, a comb with, um, uh, I don't know how you say, sparse teeth. So it would be bigger than this, but like a know, white tooth comb. White tooth mm -hmm. comb, yes. And uh, you can brush your hair out um, while you're in the shower with the conditioner in, so that helps the hair as well, I think.